residents of that area need that quality service from the fire department and with the new tender at All Saints and the additional one at St. John's will enhance the citizen safety that we all strive for. So this morning, I join with the fire department to say thanks. Police Commissioner Atlee Rodney says he's hopeful the tenders on order will be here very soon to further strengthen the fleet. ASP Gilmore Weeks, in charge of the All Saints Fire Brigade, says the new tenders will greatly assist them. I'm feeling great this morning to see that we are here commissioning the new fire tender for the All Saints District, knowing that the, this district is a very large one and the amount of villages and the distance we have to travel in accommodating, in meeting the demand. Fire Chief Elvis Weaver says of the four stations, All Saints was chosen because its loan tender is inoperable and the water truck on loan from the Ministry of Public Works is not entirely dependable. He's also delighted by the tender for St. John's, noting that although refurbished, they're of good quality. The capacity is just 500 gallons, but uh, they will be very useful to the fire department. They also carry foam, just about 40 gallons of foam. Public Safety Minister Stedroy Benjamin made a major announcement on the future provision of fire tenders. Every year from now, that's the next year, we will make sure that we order for the fire brigade a fire tender. That's until the quota is reached. The fire chief says the brigade will determine the capacity of the new tenders in an effort to have up to 1,500 gallons per tender. The tenders were purchased from Angloco, which has been in business for over 50 years. Angloco has tenders in Guyana, Barbados, St. Lucia, Dominica, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Anguilla, Bermuda, Trinidad and Tobago, and Montserrat. The future looks bright for the Fire Brigade and the citizens of Antigua and Barbuda. We'll keep you abreast of developments as they unfold. I'm Sherilyn Beza reporting for ABS News.